Investing in real estate's honestly been thought of as a pipe dream for many. I've heard the rebuttals before. I don't have enough cash, or my personal financial statement is not good enough to get a loan, or I just don't have the time or the experience. Well, fortunately for you, none of that matters anymore because there's another way to invest in real estate, and that's through a real estate syndication. Hey everyone, it's Matt Marsh, founder of Marsh & Partners. Marsh & Partners is a development and national consulting firm that helps business owners and investors maximize their real estate and transform their businesses. Now, today we're gonna to focus on real estate syndication. And honestly, it's a topic that gets me fired up when I talk about it because of how applicable it is for busy working professionals, mom and pop investors, and people that just wanna break into the real estate investing space. Syndication is not a new concept, but it's a trend that's really actually really picked up some serious steam over the last five or so years. And it's nothing more than the pooling of resources or crowdfunding of equity to acquire a piece of real estate. A partnership where a syndicator sources a deal, structures an investment opportunity, and investors buy into that deal. Now, the mechanics of a syndication deal are fairly simple. Let's say a syndicator finds a 10 unit apartment building that costs a million bucks. Well, if the sponsor, secures a loan for 60% of the purchase price, they may not have the $400,000 required to acquire the property. So instead, the syndicator might go out to the marketplace and find eight individual investors who each commit 50,000 bucks towards the project. And then investors, they're normally paid a return based on their $50,000 capital investment in addition to ownership share of the property and claim to rental income. But instead of focusing on how a deal might look on paper, I want to instead talk about how individual investors can actually benefit from a project in practice. So let's first start by facing the present reality. The real estate industry is illiquid. Quality properties are hard to find. You know, it takes time, expertise to, to, to source and cultivate these deals, years to build a solid broker partnership network to keep a pipeline stocked. And if you do acquire a property, well, you know, obviously managing it's going to be stressful. It's going to be time consuming. You know, the, the horror stories about 3 a.m. phone calls, about clogged toilets, or the weekend emergency maintenance runs. So really as a result, many investors, they're happy. They're happier taking a passive investment role to avoid many of those management headaches. And that's exactly what real, real estate syndication offers investors, in addition to a couple other distinct benefits that are worth noting. Now, remember how I said that quality deals were hard to find? Well, it's a problem everyone has. But if you're an investor, instead of taking on that task yourself, why don't you let a sponsor do it? They'll shoulder the burden of outbound and inbound lead generation and underwrite hundreds of deals before they actually find the one. And because the capital's crowdfunded, well, then a single investor, they don't have to put up all the cash for a project, which allows investors access to bigger and more profitable deals that they, they wouldn't have been able to participate in otherwise. Now, another important benefit is a syndication actually aligns the incentives between a sponsor and the investors. Most syndicators, they'll invest their own capital into a project, which means they're just as exposed to downside risk as any limited partners. And the sponsor, they're compensated based on the asset's performance, which better aligns interests than the traditional Wall Street fund manager model does anyway. And as an investor, you know, it's hard to find a financial vehicle that truly matches your risk tolerance and financial means. But participation in a syndicated project allows you to make smaller contributions to several deals, ultimately reducing your exposure to any single property. And the sponsor also contributes their management and operating expertise to the transaction, which further shields the investors from investment risk because the experts are the ones managing the property. And I'll tell you, it used to be you couldn't own real estate without the burden of having to actively manage a property. But a syndication offers a truly passive investment. Investors have direct ownership, all associated tax benefits that pass through without the management responsibility. And as a result, if you're an investor, you'll also have limited liability against third parties, like contractors and tenants. And I'll tell you, when that rent check hits your mailbox every month or every quarter, you'll probably be happy you made the decision to buy into a project. But none of this matters if you don't take action and start today. So if you're an investor that wants to get into investing through a real estate syndication, 
but you just can't quite seem to get the ball rolling, here are a couple of tips. First, find a sponsor you're comfortable with and then do your research. Because every syndicator has a different philosophy, a different experience. Take a look at the deal they've managed and then take a look at the deal they've managed full cycle and assess whether they're a good fit. You also want to determine what product and investment types you're interested in. The multifamily syndication space is hot right now, but sponsors are syndicating capital for build a suit projects, industrial developments, and various other types of transactions. There's no need to really try to, to make a deal work if the parameters don't fit your investment goals, because that's the beauty of a syndication. Now, if you're interested, in addition to this video, I've also written extensively on the topic of real estate syndication. So if you want to learn more about syndication, how to find and source deals, and how to structure your next real estate syndication, check out the links in the video description below for more information. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below and you could also subscribe to our channel down there. You can follow us on Instagram at Marsh Partners Real Estate and you can check out our website for more real estate insights at marsh-partners.com. Now, if you're interested and you like this video, feel free to leave us a comment if there are other topics you're interested in or you'd like me to, uh, to cover in the future. And again, please don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. And thanks again for watching.